Okay, this is going to be a very quick video just to show you the changing effect of the aperture. We spoke about it a few times about how the aperture changes the depth of field of an image. Um, and I'm just going to show you a very quick and simple way to actually illustrate this. Now, since DSLRs have introduced video to their cameras, it's made my job of teaching a lot easier because as I change it, and if I'm filming with the camera, you can see the effect that it's having with the depth of field. So what I've done here, I've set the camera up to, um, I've set it up to auto ISO so that when I change the aperture, we don't change the actual um, metering of the image, we don't change the exposure. So as I decrease or open the aperture up, the, um, the exposure shouldn't change, but you should start to see a difference in the background. Now I'm starting off filming at f22, so you should be able to see a lot of the image in focus and I'm gonna open it right up to f2.8. So as I change it, you should see the background start to get blurred. So let's do that now, let's set it running. And you should be seeing on there now, um, a shot of the lamp or the lantern or whatever you wanna call it, um, with the background fairly well in focus. We're on f22, so it's a good depth of field, quite deep. So you should be seeing everything in focus. Now, what I'm gonna do is slowly open up the aperture to f20, f18, F16, F14, F13, F11, F10, F9, F8, F7.1, 6.3, 5, 5.6, 5, 4.5, 4, 3.5, 3.2, and 2.8. Now you should be able to see that the background has gone quite blurred. So as we've opened up the aperture, we haven't changed the metering at all, we haven't changed the exposure, but the but the background has gone completely blurred. So you can see the difference there between f2.8 and I'm going to quickly whiz it back up to f22. And you can see there the background's gone uh, sharp again. So we've got good depth of field, a lot in focus with a small aperture of f22, back down to f2.8 where we've got a very wide aperture and not much in focus. So that should quickly illustrate the difference between a wide aperture and a narrow aperture and how it affects the depth of field or how much is in focus with the photo. So remember that and use the aperture to your advantage to, um, to make backgrounds either stand out or um, have them all in focus and it can have a, a big effect on your images. So try that, have a play with your aperture and see how it goes.